Your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. What are the requirements for authentic revival, an authentic awakening? Perhaps you've seen in the news that there are folks who, who are talking about a revival. And I must be honest, I'm, I admire people who want to see our nation turn back to God and they recognize that there are moral problems. But what is really required for an authentic revival? Over in 2 Kings chapter 22 and 2 Chronicles 34, we read about a story. The young king, Josiah, he comes to the throne when he's only eight years old. He's a good young man. He's a sincere young man. I know he is because we read in 2 Chronicles chapter 34 and verse number 8, in his 18th year, he had purged the land. There are repairs undergoing at that time for the temple to try to bring the temple back. But you see, even then, there was some ignorance. We know that because when Josiah sends his servant, Saphan, to the temple to check on the repairs and make sure that everything is going as it should, Hilkiah brings him a book. And he says, we found this book in the temple. It was the word of God. It had been lost. Now, I want you to think about that for just a moment. The Word of God had been lost in the temple. There's a lot of folks who are very religious, but they've lost the Word of God. I don't mean they can't find their Bible. They've lost the value of it. They've lost the sense of the authority of it and going to it. So what should we do? We need to recognize that this is an authoritative book. When Saphan read the book of the law to King Uzziah in verse number 11 of 2 Kings chapter 22, it says that the king tore his clothes and he acknowledged that his people had been a disobedient people. And someone says, but, but sincerity, as long as you're sincere, it's good enough. Let me tell you something. Sincerity is absolutely essential, but it is not a test of truthfulness. It is not a test of accuracy. Only the Bible, only the Bible can be our true test of right and wrong. And we need to go to this book for all things. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 28 and verse number 18, all authority has been given to me both in heaven and on earth. We need to go to him. We need to go to his book. Do you want real revival? Open the book. We're going to talk some more about this this week. Please join us for your daily 180.